Welcome back to Tackle Tuesday. On a Friday. The only Tackle Tuesday that's absolutely never posted on a Tuesday because it's my channel, I get to do what I want. Today's video is fishing sonar under $1,000. So fishing sonar units around that $1,000 price point, I require to do quite a bit because you're spending $1,000. So the first few things that I require is obviously to have a 2D or traditional sonar system. These color palettes are great to determine the size of the object or the fish that is directly underneath your boat. Some sort of down looking sonar, like down imaging, down scan, or down view. Depending on the manufacturer, they call it different things some sort of side looking sonar, uh, side imaging, side scan, or side view. And the down looking or the side looking sonar, I do expect to have some sort of megahertz frequency being beamed out from the transducer. That megahertz frequency or mega imaging technology uh, provides the clearest image on your uh, display unit. I would also require these units to have some sort of built-in mapping system, not just a SD card that you can actually plug into it like a Navionics or a uh, Lake Masters card, but a built-in mapping system. A lot of these units should come with a Navionics mapping system built into the unit directly from the manufacturer or a Lake Masters, uh, in the case of Humminbird, built into the unit itself. It should be able to accept at least one SD card uh, to provide additional lake contours if I'm traveling, if I'm going to different lakes or the lakes in my local area or rivers in my local area aren't in the base maps provided by the manufacturer. Now the next few things are not hardcore requirements, but I do expect these units to have them. The first thing is some sort of capability to connect to another unit, as well as some sort of trolling motor. The second thing is to be able to have connection to an accessory transducer like the Humminbird 360, the Garmin LiveScope, or the Lowrance LiveSight. And last one, which really isn't a big issue, is I at $1,000, you should be able to have a touchscreen unit um, some of the units that I'm going to list below are not touchscreen, but it's not the end of the world. It's just for a thousand bucks. You'd think the manufacturer would come up with a touchscreen type of sonar. All right, so the first one is the Garmin Ecomap 93SV UHD. The UHD stands for Ultra High Definition. Um, it's basically mega imaging. It means the same thing. The Garmin 93SV UHD model runs a 1.2 megahertz side view technology, giving you that crisp, clear picture of mega imaging. It only runs 800 kilohertz for down view, um, but still gives a very clear uh, picture when it comes to separation from brush piles. This is a crappie fishing channel, so that is very key uh, to a lot of people watching these videos on my channel, the separation between fish and brush piles or fish and the bottom. Um, if you fish for bass or walleye, you're probably more concerned about fish on the bottom and the separation between that bottom lake contour and those fish. This unit has 2D or traditional sonar, just like all units in its class. Um, it also comes with a built-in Navionics US mapping system. What really sets this unit as part, in my personal opinion, is because it is a wireless connection unit. Um, you can wirelessly connect it to the brand new Garmin Force trolling motor, and you can actually connect it to other Garmin Ecomap units or the Ultra models that just came out from Garmin. Additionally, it is compatible with the Garmin LiveScope system. Uh, both the Ecomap Plus and the Ecomap UHD are compatible with that LiveScope system. So if you get the older model like this one here in the box or the new model, which is the Ultra HD, uh, both are compatible with the LiveScope system. This 93SV Ultra HD unit comes in at $1,049, slightly over that $1,000 mark, I realize that, but for an extra 50 bucks, you get mega imaging technology as far as side view goes, um, delivering that clear picture, and the wireless capability to connect to a Garmin Force trolling motor and to other units actually saves you money in the long run from buying cables that connect from one unit to the next. All right, number two is Humminbird Helix 7, not the Helix 9 here, but the Humminbird Helix 7 Mega Side Imaging Gen 3 GPS unit. Now, like the Garmin unit, it is a mega imaging technology, and actually, it is the mega side imaging and mega down imaging. So it runs a 1.2 megahertz for both side imaging and down imaging, giving you that ultra clear picture. You can actually see the species of fish. Great separation in down imaging when you're fishing over brush piles, which is something, again, we often do as crappie fishermen. Also comes with 2D traditional sonar, as do all units in this class. The one thing that separates the GPS units from Humminbird and everybody else is its ability to have Navionics chips or Lake Masters chips acceptable in the SD card slot. Um, some units actually have dual card slots like this Helix 9. The Helix 7 only has one. 
uh, SD card slot. What does set it apart is your ability to have the choice between Navionics or Lake Masters depending on the body of water that you're fishing in, the geographic location that you are living in or your local bodies of water there. Forgot to mention the Garmin has a auto chart feature very similar to the Humminbird units where if you're on a body of water that does not have a contour for either Navionics or Lake Masters, you can actually map out your own contours and build your own lake map. The Humminbird Helix 7 is compatible with an accessory transducer, that being the 360 imaging that Humminbird has. Um, the downsides to the Humminbird Helix 7, if you want to connect it to another Humminbird unit, you need to buy additional cables. And also, it is not a touchscreen unit, it is by these uh, keypads here on the right side of the unit. The Humminbird Helix 7 unit comes in at $700. It's a solid choice if you like to travel a lot because its ability to use both Navionics mapping cards and the Lake Masters mapping cards. Uh, you can swap those out depending on your geographic location that you're traveling to or your home lakes or rivers that you fish. Number three is Lowrance. Now this is the Lowrance Elite TI2 nine inch screen. This comes in at $1,069, again, slightly over that $1,000 mark. Not gonna break the bank though with that extra 69 bucks. Now, Lowrance is regarded as one of the most user-friendly sonar units. So if this is your first time buying a sonar unit uh, and you're specifically using it for 2D down scan or side scan technology, which looks below your boat and to the left and right of your boat, and you're not trying to pair it up with a trolling motor or some sort of forward-looking transducer or an accessory transducer, Lowrance is probably a pretty good option for you. It's very simplistic in their setup. Unfortunately, the Elite TI uh, nine inch screen only runs 800 kilohertz for side scan and down scan technology. It is still a pretty good image, but compared to the 1.2 megahertz units, uh, like the Garmin Ecomap 93 SV that I mentioned and the Helix 7 mega side imaging that I mentioned, uh, the image quality isn't the greatest one compared to those two. Now, unlike the Helix 7, Lowrance Elite Ti 9 inch screen is wirelessly compatible uh, with both other Lowrance Elite units and the new Lowrance Ghost trolling motor. Unfortunately, it is not compatible with the Lowrance Live Sight, which is the accessory transducer, which is forward looking sonar. Um, if you want to be compatible with that, you have to upgrade to one of their carbon units. Now, this Lowrance unit comes with the Navionics Plus US and Canada mapping chip, which is a very solid built in sonar. Um, again, the one downside about Lowrance units or Garmin units is that they only accept Navionics mapping chips. Um, if that's a huge concern to you, you should probably look at the Humminbird unit. If not, because Navionics is a fairly accurate system across most of North American lakes, uh, I would recommend this unit as well because Navionics US and Canada charts are pretty darn accurate throughout North America. And last but not least is the Raymarine Element 9HV. The HV stands for Hypervision. Now, I personally never used Raymarine products before, but I saw this online, and Raymarine definitely stands out in terms of its tech. This unit obviously comes with the 2D traditional sonar, but it offers a 1.2 megahertz down vision and side vision technology. Again, these things are the same terms as side imaging, down imaging. Raymarine uses vision as its term uh, for down vision and side vision. Now this unit does come with the Navionics Plus US Canada chip built into the GPS mapping system. Now what sets it apart from pretty much every single sonar that I've mentioned around this thousand dollar mark is the 3D imaging that Raymarine has in its tech. Now I've personally never used this 3D imaging system, but for around a thousand dollars, this comes in at $1,049. If this is something that you're interested in, uh, this is the only unit in its class that offers that 3D imaging technology. The downsides to this unit, as far as I can tell, it's not compatible with any trolling motor. It might be compatible with motor guide, but I couldn't find any research on that. It is compatible with other elements units in its class, but like the Humminbird unit and the Elite unit, it is a non-touch screen. So if that's something important to you, maybe you want to look at the Garmin unit, which is a touch screen. Otherwise, if you're curious about the 3D imaging technology and you want to check it out, this Raymarine Element HV 9-inch screen is a very good option. That is going to end it. If you have any questions, you can post them in the comment section below, or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. If you have specific price ranges you want me to go in depth on, or specific sonar units you want me to go in depth on, you can post them in the comment sections below as well. Do me a favor, click the like button and click that share button if you found this video useful. I appreciate you watching, we'll see ya.